Hi, have you ever thought to yourself, man, I'm doing something really cool on my computer, such as playing video games by myself or with friends, and this is somewhat entertaining, so I think I want to record it and put it all over the internet for all my cool friends to see. But the problem is, all those recorders are so darn expensive. Well, guess what? There is a free video game recorder slash whatever you want recorder called OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. Um, I'm going to just walk you through how to use it. First of all, this is the website, obsproject.com. Uh, you can Google it or I, I could put a link in the description. That'll probably be the most helpful. Um, you know, you download what you need. If you haven't ever downloaded something, <coughs> Dylan, uh, comment or something, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it. It's pretty simple. Um, after you've downloaded it, you know, you open it up, you want to go through your settings because this is something that I did not really know. You know, I'm not really a big computer guy. If you're not a big computer guy, you're watching the right video because I'm going to try to help you through everything like this. You see, this this should be, general settings should be just like this when you see it. If it's not, make sure your enable cursor over projector is on. Um, encoding looks like this t by 264. Th most of this is the default. The things that you need to change are according to your what you're using. I'm using a, a laptop, which isn't that great, so these are my numbers. The way I found out these numbers, okay, like most videos I've seen, this is kind of why I'm making this video, is because most videos I've seen are people who have nice equipment, and they're like trying to talk to me like I know what they're talking about, and I don't, you know? So this is helpful. With these numbers here, max bit rate, buffer size, stuff like that, um, there's a very helpful chart thing here in the actual website. Under help, you go to estimator. And then you're going to find what uh, type of CPU you have, what graphics, what kind of gaming, if it's high motion, first person, you know, stuff like that. And then um, upload speed, you can go to speedtest.net. You know, all you do here, once it loads, you press on begin test and it'll give you your upload, your download, and your ping. All you need is your upload for this. But honestly, if um, upload you don't really need for if you're just recording like locally, upload you really need if you're actually, you can use OBS to live stream. And if you were live streaming with OBS, you would need to know your up upload. That would be a lot more important. So once you put in all these settings, it'll tell you um, max bit rate and buffer size, I'm pretty sure. Because that's how I got it. I had to mess with this stuff before. Um, you know, like I said, most people just had numbers up there, and they didn't work for me. Like, if, you, if I look back through it, the, the quality of the video was really bad. So to find what's best for your computer... Like I said, just go to the estimator, and it's pretty simple. Okay, once you're done with the encoding, you go to broadcast settings. This is where you set your file path. For me, it was already set in the videos, so it should be for you. But the most important thing here is you want to change this. It, for you, it's probably not going to say MP4. It's, um, I can't remember what, what uh, format it was originally put at, but it was like a flash video or something really really crappy and it does not look good you want to change it to mp4 so after you know users your name videos which should be for you too uh you want to change whatever's here to mp4 instead because that's what a lot of things use it's a lot it looks a lot better it's it it's just better um video pretty much just leave this as it is because it should be set to your actual monitor I mean if you know what you're doing you can change whatever you want you know speakers uh, internal mic for sounds pretty simple if you have another mic you know if you have it hooked up you put it there uh, 
th you shouldn't have to change these. I haven't had to. You can set up uh, hotkeys to start streaming and stuff, which would be really cool. I've seen some other stuff like uh, DX Tori and stuff use that use hotkeys, and they're really convenient. But honestly, it you don't have to use them. You know, for me, I didn't really use them. Uh, advanced, I have not touched. I don't think because pretty much you really need to know what you're doing to get advanced. Uh, and then noise gate is pretty important too. <coughs> Excuse me. What this thing does is okay. If I'm if I'm not talking, you watch the green bar go down. That's like the background, the the background sounds in the room I'm in. So if I'm not talking, it goes down to this level. Close threshold means that whatever comes up to this level, that's when the microphone will turn on. So you see how the bar is below the cl the close threshold. It will not pick up any of the background noise. Like if you, I'm gonna let I'm gonna stop talking and, and let you see how far the bar goes down. It's below the cr the close threshold. The open threshold is um. I might have reversed these. I'm sorry. I think close might be where it closes off, where it stops, where it where it stops. If it goes below close, it will stop you know, picking up any sounds, and open, that's where it starts. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't really know, <laughs> but I know one of them does the other one. One of them will open the microphone, basically, you know, so it starts recording, I mean, starts picking up sounds, and the other one will close it, so there's no sounds coming through anymore. Uh, sorry, I, I should have prepared better, but Google is a great thing. You can just Google it. Okay. So once you're doing that, right now I'm on monitor capture. So it records, you know, the monitor. And what you're gonna want to do if you have a if you're doing a game, you can use monitor if it's in full screen, it's fine. But you can actually go. There's one called game capture. Okay. And once you open up your game, I have Binding of Isaac right here. I'm gonna open it up real quick. <clears throat> Once you open up your game, um, let me exit that. You can. Jeez, sorry. <laughs> you go game capture. You can rename it if you want, but I mean, you don't have to. Why is this not working? Game capture. Did I? Why did this? I'm sorry. Okay. So Binding of Isaac's playing. Take it out of full screen, subtract it, and we will add a game capture. Don't have to name it. You go through here, Chrome shows up, and there we go, Binding of Isaac. Click OK. And then if you have this uh, selected, you can actually delete monitor capture when, when you're done with it. You can go remove, but I am using it right now, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so once you start, you you have this selected. You know, basically, you can remove them, so you only have one. At, I only would like to have one at a time, because I mean you don't really need any more. You you uh you have it selected, and then you click start recording. I I can't do that right now because I'm already recording the screen. But um that's about it. You click start recording and stop recording. Uh, all the settings should be set. You see. FPS, this is, uh, that's, I think that's all I have to say, actually. Um, if you have any questions, just contact me in the comments, or I don't know how YouTube does it. You, I think you can send some kind of message or something. I'll, I'll check, you know, every couple days or something like that, because I'm not a big into the YouTube thing right now. But, alright, thanks for watching, and I hope this would, this helped you out. Dylan! This is basically for my friend Dylan, so thanks for watching. Man hands out.